But let's have a look at some displacement reactions. So what charge do ions that are formed from metal atoms normally have? Well, ion, uh, metals are on the left-hand side of the periodic table and they lose electrons when they react, so they form positive um, ions. And which metals would displace the other from a compound? So if we remember our, our reactivity series, um, if we compare zinc and lithium, lithium is more reactive, so lithium will displace zinc. Magnesium will displace aluminium because it's more reactive. And potassium will displace sodium because it's more reactive. Now, a spectator ion is an ion that doesn't change during a chemical reaction. So some, uh, react some um, ions will be reduced. They will, that means they will gain electrons. Some will be oxidized. That means they'll lose electrons. And some have no change, and they're just the spectator ions. And just to recap that reactivity series, um, it goes, it basically tracks substances from the most reactive to the least reactive. And when I say most reactive, um, it's basically how easily uh, a metal forms a positive ion. Um, that tells us how reactive a metal is. And they can be arranged in this order. So very unreactive metals such as gold and platinum um, are found in the Earth's crusts as pure metals and they're called native metals. And you'll find those down at the bottom of the reactivity series. So just to run through the order of the reactivity series, most reactive metal you've got is potassium, then sodium, lithium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. And then you've got carbon, which is included because it, even though it's not a metal, it's used as a reference point. Uh, to compare uh, the, the reactivity of different metals. Then you've got zinc, iron, hydrogen, which again is included in there as a reference, copper, silver, gold, and platinum. So you've got the really reactive ones at the top, the sort of your, your potassiums, your sodiums, your lithiums, and you've got the really unreactive ones at the bottom, your platinums, your golds, and your silvers. So, in terms of displacement reaction, more, display, more reactive substances can remove less reactive substances from compounds. So, in an, exa an example, when um, uh, chlorine reacts with sodium bromide, so the products are sodium chloride and bromine. And we say that the chlorine has been displaced by the bromine because the, uh, sorry, the chlorine has displaced the bromine because the chlorine is more reactive than the bromine. So, which of, think of us have a think, which of these two displacement reactions is possible? Sodium plus calcium carbonate goes to calcium plus sodium carbonate. And the second one is calcium plus sodium carbonate goes to sodium plus calcium carbonate. Now remember, the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal. And if we've got sodium and calcium, sodium is more reactive. So sodium will displace calcium out of calcium carbonate to produce calcium and sodium carbonate. Now which non-metals are often included in the reactivity series of metals for reference? And we talked about this earlier, if you remember, one of them is carbon and the other one is hydrogen. So, which halogens would displace the other from a compound? Now, remember, we're thinking about reactivity here, and the higher up the reactivity, the higher up the group you are in in group seven, which is where the halogens are, the more reactive it is. So, we've got fluorine and bromine. Fluorine is the most reactive, so fluorine will displace bromine. You've got fluorine and chlorine. Fluorine again will displace it because it's more reactive. And if you've got chlorine and bromine, well, chlorine is more reactive than bromine, therefore it will displace bromine in a compound. So what is the word equation for the reaction of pot uh, potassium and magnesium carbonate and why? 
Well, potassium and magnesium carbonate will react to form potassium carbonate and magnesium. And that's because potassium is more reactive than magnesium and will therefore displace it in the reaction. So the easier it is for a metal to form positive ions, the more reactive the metal is. Now just to recap displacement reactions of halogens. So more reactive substances will displace less reactive substances in compounds. So chlorine will displace bromine from a compound. So if you think of chlorine, it can be reduced as in electrons are gained in the following ionic equation. So Cl2 plus 2E minus goes to 2Cl minus. And remember that spectator ions in a reaction do not change. We call them spectator ions just because they sit back and watch. Now, which, spect which um, ion is a spectator ion in this equation? 2 NaBr plus Cl2 goes to Na or 2 NaCl plus Br2. So the bromine in the reactants is a Br minus, and in the products, it's also uh, it is changed to be um, not being not be an ion. So that has changed. It's not a spectator ion. The chlorine has gone from uh, not being an ion, being a chlorine atom or chlorine, yeah, chlorine molecule, because it's CL2, to being a chlorine ion, Cl minus. But the Na has, is Na plus in the reactants and Na plus in the products. So that is our spectrum.